You have all heard of the pap smear as a screening test. But do you know that actually there is a newer and better test that tells us your risk for getting cervical cancer? Hi, I'm Dr. Chiu Gi Kang. I'm a gynae. I have a strong interest in preventing cervical cancer. Most of you would have heard about screening using the pap smear. The pap smear has been around in Malaysia since 1940s. So how do we do the pap smear? Well, we introduce an instrument into the vagina to look at the cervix. We then have to use this wooden paddle to collect the cells from the cervix and then we spread the cells onto a slide. This slide gets sent to the lab and the doctor will read it to see whether there are any changes to the cells. And this hopefully helps us pick up the condition before it turns to cancer and then it allows us to treat the condition so that we can prevent cancer. Now, there has been a lot of problems with this because when we send the specimen to the lab, sometimes it makes it very difficult for the doctor to be able to read the cells because the cells are all stuck together and it's not clear. So, maybe about 20 years ago, we developed a new way to collect the cells from the cervix and that's when we're using a, a plastic brush like this. It's softer and it's kinder. And again, we collect the cells from the cervix and we put it into a liquid medium. Okay, and this allows the cells to be suspended and then the cells are then collected onto a slide. So this makes it a better way for the doctors in the laboratory to be able to read the slides. So this second test is called the liquid-based cytology. The difference between these two procedures is the cost. Okay, obviously when we use the newer technology, it will cost a little bit more because there's more in the process. If you have a negative test for the pap smear, which means the doctor has not seen any abnormal cells in the specimen that was taken, then you do not actually need another test for three years. However, there's a controversial issue here. Although the guidelines say every three years, we have a certain uh, worry that we may miss some of the cells because of the quality of the specimen and our concern that it might be inaccuracy in the way that the smear has been read. We now actually find most people attend annually to have their pap smears taken. Now this is obviously then become an expensive exercise and an uncomfortable exercise for the woman. Since we found out that cervix cancer is caused by the human papillomavirus, there is a new test. This test is called the HPV test and then we can actually test for the HPV infection. Now, if you test negative for this infection, what it tells us is that you are of low risk and your low risk lasts for five years. So the chance of you getting cervical cancer or pre-cancer of the cervix in the next five years is almost less than 1%. So that puts you at very low risk and you don't have to worry about any screening for the next five years. Now, this test is very easy. What we do is we take a wound a swab and then we stick it into the vagina like that and we turn it around. There's a little mark here to say that's how far you need to go in. Now this swab can then be sent to the lab and they can tell us whether or not you have any of the human papilloma virus that causes the infection. Now the beauty about this test is the fact that you do not need to have a speculum inserted into the vagina. Now this is what most people find uncomfortable and quite a lot of people through religious uh, conviction, they do not like to have intimate examination. So the woman can actually do the swab collection themselves. This involves taking a swab, which they insert into the vagina, and then they can just collect the secretion and then give it to the nurse who can then submit it for examination. This is the HPV testing, and it's actually now uh, available in our hospital and in quite a lot of centers within the government institutions. So the recommendation of the person is that the test should be repeated every five years. And this is backed by research that has been conducted in many countries over many thousands, tens of thousands of women. So with the HPV testing, we would certainly recommend to do the test when you're not having any period. It is okay if it's towards the end of your period, but it would be better to avoid this time. However, women who have cervical cancer have abnormal bleeding. 
So if you have bleeding uh, that is persistent and you cannot find a time where you do not have bleeding, please do not miss your appointment to see your doctor because you may miss a chance to diagnose an early cancer. The pap smear is a qualitative assessment. So basically, it is read by a cytopathologist, so a doctor who reads the slides and has an opinion if this is normal or not normal. Obviously, it is subject to human error. What it means is you can have inter-reader variation. So one doctor may have a different opinion from the other doctor what the results of the pap smear is. The good thing about the HPV test is it is done by a machine. The machine undergoes a questioning every two or three months to ascertain that the results is consistent each time. So what this means is that the results is reproducible. If you run the same sample to different machines, you should get the same answer every time. This gives us more confidence about the low risk or the high risk. So in my opinion, this test is a better test for screening to tell us what your risks are so that then we can concentrate on the women who have a higher risk, examine them more closely to see if they have cervical disease. So the HPV test is a screening test. Okay, so if you test negative, you do not need to do any pap smears at all. However, if you test positive, we need to see if this infection has caused any change in the cells of your cervix. And that's when we do the, use the pap smear or the liquid-based cytology as a diagnostic test. We will then collect the cells to see if the HPV infection has caused changes in the cells. If you found this video helpful, please share this information with your friends and your family. 